Good morning everyone. So today I'm just filming a come shopping with me. I don't even know. I wasn't really sure what to film because I was like, I have the whole Saturday pretty much to do filming. I mean, it's already like, what's the time? Okay, so it is already 20 past one. So not quite the whole day because I'm meeting the cheerleading girls for takeaway at half five. But I thought, what can I do? And I really... I just want to go shopping. But I'm perfectly honest. I just want to go shopping and I feel like I'd enjoy watch. I enjoy people shopping. Like, if you're trying on their clothes, then it's like a haul. Like, I love watching hauls. And shopping is basically the same thing, but I get to see different shops and also what else is in stock that you haven't bought. Because, like, obviously I'll film me walking around the shop too and seeing stuff. And it's a way for me to try on stuff without having to buy it. <laughs> I don't know why I don't go shopping more often. And I think next weekend, yeah, next Saturday, I'm gonna go to Bista Village because I'm down at home and gonna go designer outlet shopping. So I'm very excited for that. I'll probably vlog it as well. If not, sorry, I'll do it another time. About to leave the house now and I'll catch you all later. Okay, I definitely chose the vlog today. Let's go to Trinity. So many people here. I was going to go to the shop first, but now that I'm here, I might as well have a look. Skin shop. I love this colour. Just £45, so I just don't think I can afford that. I love the home section in Urban Outfitters. They're like ice gems. I really like the belt on them. That is sick. I like that a lot. Literally, right? These tops. My mate Tasha has these tops in every single colour that you can imagine. She's got like lilac, blue, dark purple, red, orange. But I mean, that leg, like, she looks peg in them. I'm actually boiling. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, it's like a dress. Oh, that's actually cheaper than I would have thought for Fila. £38 for a dress. Not too bad. You know that black coat that I bought from. What is it? Prime off. That is so soft. Those trousers are amazing. Um, Izzy's got the same one basically from Urban Outfit. It's like, I saw her the other day and I was like, oh, Izzy, we're wearing the same coat. And then she was like, oh yeah, is that the one you bought from Prime off? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's, are you wearing the same one? She was like, oh yeah, this is from Urban. It was £80. And I was like, mine was £20. Like, I thought we were wearing the same coat. I mean, she said it's really warm, so maybe that is the extra 60 pounds but i'm not really sure i think i've been like fair play it's really paying everything in there i always want but i just think it's a ripoff i would have thought like apart from the brands maybe the reason why they own like branded clothes are um so expensive is because they do stuff ethically they use like good re reliably sourced materials and like don't use sweatshops and stuff but apparently not i mean to be fair this could all not be true so i've been out if you ever see anything I'm saying, but yeah, we're making a little River Island today. Why not? River Island is always somewhere that I'd go if I really wanted like businessy stuff and I had the money. Like, I do find that it's a bit overpriced. Anything in here that I actually like, not really. All those trousers are kind of cool. Okay, forty pounds is not okay. That skirt. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I really love snake print at the moment. Like, I think I've moved on from leopard print. Mmm, still kind of pricey. I feel like it's literally because I... I don't even know if I'm allowed to sit in it. I really want to sit in it. Okay, I'm walking away. Um, I feel like I think everything is overpriced just because I compare it all to Primark. That is actually really cool. I really like the colour. Like, I've never really seen neon orange. Like, you see green and pink and... But the orange is actually quite nice. That is so nice. This skirt. Oh wow. They have it in my size. They have it in a six. I might have to try this on. So I have this skirt on. I mean, I like it, but it's so long. Like, can you see in the, in the back mirror? Look how long it is. I don't get why it's so long, but like, it's not in the tall range. If you're petite, I've, I'm like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, so this is just a no if you're petite like me. But I'm going to go to Topshop now. Oh, oh, place of dreams. Let's go. I do like this. It's a long, like, camel bodycon dress, £25. 
Should I get that? I feel like I should get a basket because I'm actually going to want to try loads of stuff on. <clears throat> no, it's denim skirt. It's cool. You know what? I'm going to put my coat in my bag because carrying it isn't helpful. Oh, <laughs> that's definitely way too green for a camo jacket. I don't like that. I don't know. It's like my bag, but in a mini version. That's so cute. How much is that? It's cute though. I love that one as well. That would really go well with this top. Mm. Ooh. This top's nice. It's kind of similar to the dress that I've just picked up actually. 22 pounds. It's not very much material for 22 pounds. Oh, that's like my top today, but in a bodysuit. Um, let's come around here, shall we? What is that? Um, oh, like a one shoulder dress that's kind of cool how much is that one that's 29 pounds oh we've got some nice basics here oh i have this in white basically from pretty little thing and i wear it a lot so i might even it's seven pounds i might definitely try that on swimming costume but I feel like it would probably be really nice as a bodysuit it is 29 pounds I mean that's better than like O-Poly prices O-Poly's 40 pounds for a swimsuit right. you got one of these shopping bags so now I can film more easily just in the basics bit at the moment oh that is nice oh it's really a bodysuit I thought it would be a swimming costume again that is 18 pounds they got it in my size probably not but this isn't actually where it's meant to be questions everyone what's the third Jonas brother called like there's Nick and there's Joe it's really irrelevant so let me know what the third Jonas brother is called oh that's a really cool black denim skirt with the tie on it I don't have a black denim skirt like that let me have a look um yeah but not a big one so I don't know if I just caught any of that on camera but basically some boy asked if like, I was a YouTuber and he asked to look me up and stuff because he's like obviously quite young like, and his mum comes over and she was so rude she was like what are you doing you shouldn't be talking to strangers what are you doing like while I'm standing right there I was like oh uh, he just asked if I'm on YouTube that like, he wanted to be in my video he's just like looking me up on YouTube and stuff and she was like come on let's go like you shouldn't be talking to strangers I was like that's so rude like I'm not being funny he was the one that came up to me she obviously saw that it's not like I'm trying to steal your kid or something Anyway, I'm just looking at the jewellery in here and it's so pretty. Like, wait, where were they? They're such a nice colour. £8.50, not too bad. I'm wearing the uh, earrings from the Misguided Hall with the show in them. Let's have a look at some of the sunglasses. I love the sunglasses, they're just so They're so nice. You've got like all this stuff in the way, but wow. I do like them. £14 though. I'm just about to go downstairs and that bag is so firm. Okay, let's go downstairs so I can try some stuff on. Another one of these coats that is literally the same as my Primark one, but this is £59 and the one from Primark is £20. So. I'm always going to get those bargains. So, first item we have on is these straight leg jeans. I got these in waist 26 and length 30. Um, I think maybe they're a little too cropped. Usually I get 30 in jeans, but I think just a bit too cropped. But I've wanted straight leg jeans for ages, but I can't tell, like... Are they out of fashion now? I don't really know. Also, they're £40, so... I'm not sure if I can afford that. I, can't, like, I feel like they're a bit, um, bum flattening, but I think... If I'm feeling rich at some point, I might have to cut myself this little pair. Okay, I can't tell what the lighting's like in here, but this skirt is so nice. It's so annoying without the belt. It's like, because it's they only had a size 8, I think I definitely need a size 6, just especially because I've just had a massive full English. <laughs> I actually love it. I feel like the lighting's making it come up so much more, like, yellowy. Just like a utility, like, cargo denim skirt. I love the way have these little things on them and they match with the like utility seat seat belt buckle kind of belt um, I don't actually know how much this is I will check when I get the next skirt and I'll tell you 
<laughs> Imagine if I went out wearing this outfit, I look crazy. It is a really nice skirt though, again. I don't think I like it as much as the last one, but that might just be because of the top that I'm wearing. I mean, it wouldn't let me bring in like the other tops. I'm only allowed six items at a time in Topshop, which I think is like, definitely in other shops you can bring like nine in a time. Again, the material reaches a bit where this is a size eight, not a size six. So I think I'd want a size six in this one. But again, I actually think it's really cute. <laughs> this could be like a good festival outfit. And I've got my um, camel scrunch from the misguided haul as well, which I could put my hair in like a low bun or something. I'd look mental, but cute. Oh, okay, the last skirt was 35 and again, I haven't checked the price of this one, so I'll let you know when I let, get the next outfit on. So this skirt was £34, so just pound cheaper than the last one. This skirt, I'm in love with. I love the little, like, tie detail. I think it's so nice. And the really, like, the detailing here, just like, I think it's just flattering. It just adds something else to, like, denim skirt that you don't usually get. Again, I'm really sorry. I haven't checked the price of this one before I've put it on. I'll tell you when I have the next outfit on, but I really like it. I think there's just something about this which is just, like, different. Forever wish that that was actually how my figure looked. <laughs> it's such a big change in when I went to go um, swap over for my next five items. And um, I've just walked into the wrong change room. I'm so embarrassed. Right, well... Thanks, Derek, guys. This one was £34 and it was in a size 6. So the next thing we have on is this cute little dress. Again, this would look so much better if I hadn't just seen a full English and massive croissant. But I think it's so cute. Like... It's £25, so it'd be good as like a day dress. And I've just put on my little, my legs are looking a bit big, but just put on my little trainers to go with it because that's just like the vibe it would give me. A nice little day dress, it's really giving me so fair and chintzy vibes. I love the little slit, you know, at the side. Yeah, it's really cute. I like it. <laughs> this is my food, baby. <laughs> so we have the next thing on. I feel like it is a cupboard. I'm not really sure. The skirt and top together, because this stupid top has this in it. You can't um, like tuck it in properly. But I like them really sep like separately. So the top is £25 and the skirt is £29. They're really like warm. I feel like this is definitely more of like a winter vibe. I really like how high the top is. And like the cut of it is really flattering. This is a small, this is an extra small. Might just try the top on with my um, flares, because I think it might look really nice like that. It looks alright. It's kind of business for many though. Like, I don't think I'd wear it casually. Maybe to oh, it's dinner. It would look really nice, like a dinner. Yeah, I'm liking that vibe. So we have just the basic like black crop top on. It's it was reduced from ten to seven pounds. So like, I think that's quite good. No, I literally have one of these from Pretty Little Thing in white, but like it's a bit thicker. Obviously, like I'd probably wear it with joggers and stuff. So I can't tell if I like it or not. I like the cut. Like it's not quite like a vest straight like it does give you a little bit of a different shape which is i think is kind of flattering and it's definitely like i'm always looking for more like basic tops to wear so possibly this is a maybe i wanted to say i forgot to say as well this top that i tried on the one that was high neck and i thought looked quite businessy it's actually really stretchy like it was really good stretchy material so that even though it was high neck i didn't get any makeup on it and like it didn't touch my face which is definitely very good and as well it means like the sizing is a lot more flexible so like, I got it in a small but I reckon if I'd got it in an extra small it would have been fine as well so that's always good so I'm done trying the clothes on does anyone else do it where they pretend to keep two items and then they just put them back because you don't want to look cheap Fancy. there's actually a house of CV downstairs like in the top shop I think I'd definitely do that in another video I'd go and try on all of the house of CV dresses and trousers and tops and stuff because I love watching house of CV ones because I can never afford it I didn't realise they do like an actual shop downstairs. I think I'm going to end the vlog here today. Um, it's been really fun. I'm glad that I've got to go to try some stuff on. Definitely got some inspiration for when I actually have some money and can buy stuff. And I hope I've inspired some of you as well. If you uh, enjoyed the video, please do give me a like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you know when next videos are coming. I upload every Sunday and once in the week. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.